What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the Auditorium where I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today I'll be checking out Fantasy Star Online Episode 3. The song is called Code Deck. This is requested by Turn Arc Late. It's been a while since I've done Fantasy Star, and I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was online as well, but I don't know if it was Episode 3. I just remember the last, I think, thought I had with Fantasy Star was that I didn't really move me just that particular song but it was just because it was like a very long song it's like 25 minutes or something but basically context of course was required so but uh, here we go it's been a while code deck this is from the gamecube it's really weird seeing a sega logo on a gamecube game <laughs> anyways let's go no idea who the composer is <laughs> Mm, it says 2004, so we know that at least now. Mm. Good start to the day. Simple, pretty straightforward construction of the song. This sounds like a fun song to play on an actual synth. A lot of wet signals. Sounds like it's building back up. I think of a setting that it gives off. Interesting looking characters.
So, from what I know, which is basically nothing, Fantasy Star Online, I don't know if it's still going. I, I really know like almost nothing about it. But from what I do know in the comment section of these videos is that it's a pretty loyal fan base that's been around for years. And it seems to be a Nintendo IP. I, that I, I also don't know. But I think... I think every time I've done PSO, it's related to Nintendo. I could be very wrong about that as well. But there's a lot of games. I don't know what kind of game it is. I don't know if it's like a MMO or something, but it's, it's definitely made an impact in the in the world of games, I guess. So, so there's that. This one is, how do I say this? It's definitely fits the mood, whatever, whatever is happening here. Uh, as a listen, first time listen, it's just a very extremely kind of simple song with a lot of technicalities. And that technicality in this one is all these intricate synth lines. and But the whole thing is just drenched in synth. And it is, uh, what makes it interesting is all the voicings. So all the lead stuff is very do 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 And then all this, the core stuff is very like watery and, you know, airy covering up the whole space. But the whole thing is just extremely like electronic and has more of just a flow to it as opposed to big ups and ups and downs and dramatic shifts or even any like significant core changes. It's kind of just a kind of linear sound in a way, which makes me think this is for a stage or a level. Um, I don't know what kind of, again, gameplay, so I don't know if there's any like fights or something. I'm sure there is. I think every game, if you think about it, has some sort of conflict. <laughs> but to me, I, I, I hear this and I think, one, space, two, something more, not tunnel, but just more like a, like a space in space, I guess. <laughs> I know, I know that, that doesn't make sense, but basically I'm not getting a whole lot from it. It's just, it's a very kind of open-ended song that just sounds good. And I knew within like the first minute, I was going to think to myself, I'm like, well, this is just going to be one of those songs that um, just, for lack of a better word, don't, you know, don't mind me, but it's just, they just kind of exist. Um, remember, you guys played these and grew up with them. I listened to them in my ears with nothing besides a picture. So in that regard, it's just kind of there. And all I can really say is, cool and kind of move on I, I don't really have anything else i don't know who else composed it i don't know basically anything so i feel kind of lost in this one but um not a bad thing this isn't the same as the other one which i mentioned which even that one wasn't necessarily bad it was just long so okay so here's an example so imagine what i just heard but basically plus another 25 minutes now for you as a fan, that's great. Uh, I would probably, well, I wouldn't probably, I know I would prefer that in game so I can at least just do stuff and have my mind preoccupied. But this kind of music to me uh, shines when you're doing stuff like errands or have it on the background or playing a game as opposed to just kind of listening it to by itself. That's just me at least. So, yeah, I pretty much have nothing really to say besides it was a good song. It wasn't bad. See, now there's a big difference between the song sucked and I didn't like it and okay, it's cool, but you know, what else, what else, what else can I say? So, uh, it, is, it is indeed good, obviously. I just have uh, nothing to add. <laughs> I'm very neutral on the whole thing. It's uh, something that needs context, and I know the community loves these games. And that's what's... I'd rather talk about that kind of stuff. You know, for example, I, like, I the whole time I was listening to that, I was kind of like drifting off, right? Not because the song wasn't good, but just like that's the way the songs are structured to me. And I just kept thinking like, wow, there's a Sega logo on Nintendo. Wow, the GameCube was around when I was like in middle school or whatever. That's so old now. 
and I didn't get to experience that console just like most Nintendo stuff. But I remember GameCube was like such a big deal. That's where my mind was at. I was focusing on that. Like just, you know, these these games and IPs that have just been around and I don't know. So, and there, you know, and I've always liked that little stamp, but like only for Nintendo GameCube. So, the, you know, so you have to buy the console to check it out. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Great song. Nothing to add. Just cool. I'll let me know who the composer is. Um, just know that every song that I do can't be a huge long essay and not everything will strike me super hard. It's just what I get. So, good song. Nothing to say. That's it. Fantasy Star Online, episode three, Code Deck, C A R D Revolution. I just noticed that in the title. So, of course, this is where you guys come in and tell me what is actually going on and tell me why the song is indeed pretty cool. Thank you to Narclay and thank you to my Patreon members that you see right here supporting me. Thank you to my Platinum members on Patreon, which get priority requests in my list. That is Kevin, Patrick, Terry, Vanadel, Kalanin, Gardelaine, Pepita, Justin, Knox, and Triad 201. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, my name is Jesse. This has been The Auditorium. Take it easy.